Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you a reading for Gemini. So if your sun, moon, or rising is in Gemini, welcome to my channel. If you are a Gemini lover, what's up? All right, so make sure you flip the roles as you see fit. Um, also, remember, we're on different timelines, okay? So I may be speaking of past, present, future energies for you. Um, however, you know, get in where you fit in. If you don't fit, don't force the shit, okay? <laughs> now, look, check this out. Y'all know I like to set my intentions before I get started here. Make sure you're in a positive mindset and you're ready to receive what my spirit guides have for you today, okay? Now, what else do I got for y'all? Hold on one second. What I'm looking for, y'all, is my damn cards. <laughs> I use these energy um, oracle cards and I don't see them anywhere. Oh, I found them. I'm like, wait, they're usually sitting here on my table. All right, y'all. So remember to have a spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video. Okay. So here we go. All right, so I'm going to set my intentions now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guys, for helping me with this Gemini reading. Thank you so much for protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you and closing the gates to anything that's just not in alignment with the divine's will, the purpose of this reading. Thank you that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. Thank you for speaking through me loud and clearly for Gemini today, and so it is. So if you hear a lot of thumping and dragging chairs across my goddamn head, y'all, but it's my neighbors, Okay. Thank you. Touch my soft bone. So I can rejuvenate this good old energy. I know that hardwood floor is just fucked up. <laughs> them, them girls be tearing that floor up up there. All right. Thank you, my spirit guys. What do I need to see for Gemini? Whoa, the world. Me and my sound effects. There we go. Jumpers. Oh, the sun in the reverse. The fifth chakra in an upright position, y'all. Anything else, spirit, before I move on? So the world card is about expanding, okay, and growing. You know, like being able to see that there's so much more out there for you, okay? And what I'm saying here is that someone needs to communicate exactly what they want to do. Someone needs to communicate that they're ready to expand, all right? And the problem is, is that they're completely blocked in their happiness with this. Because with the sun card in the reverse, that speaks of your new beginnings, right? And when that's in the upright position, it speaks of new beginnings. But in the reverse, it's like, it feels like there's some type of delay. It feels like the door may be shut. <laughs> okay, whatever it is that's stopping you from being able to expand, all right, with this nice old world card here, okay? You definitely got to still keep moving forward. That's what I just heard. Like, <laughs> you still you still need to think big, Okay. You still need to realize the world is your oyster. You still need to jump out there because you got so much, so many options, broader options that you can do outside um, of this just by stepping outside your comfort zone and making some type of decision and speaking your truth, right? Because there could be some type of block here. Or what I'm saying is, ho, oh, because next to it with the garden and the gate in the reverse position, someone has spoke their truth. <laughs> Gemini, what the f what you didn't say to somebody here? Hold on, hold on. We're gonna find out. You spoke your truth about something or you expressed something here. Hold on. Let me see something. I'm looking through this book real quick. You had trouble in the past expressing this. Whatever this may be, like you couldn't put these ideas um out there. You couldn't express your emotion about it. You just didn't know what to say, right? And Gemini, y'all the masters of communication here, right? So how how are you blocked, right? <laughs> But right now, you got to remember that, you know, true communication includes how you speak to yourself, too. All right. But when I got this card here in a reverse position, something here, you, you're stepping outside of this gate. Okay. You're making this happy choice now to step outside of the gate and go towards your abundance, your new beginning, your prosperity. Right. You were staying safe before. Okay. And you were thinking, hey, like you can have both. I feel like you can have everything that you freaking desire as long as you put your mind to it, your heart to it, and you a vibrational match with it. Okay. But you may have believed that you could not live in a material world, make lots of money and have love right or and be a spiritual person you know you may have thought you couldn't do both but now you're realizing here that that is a lie like you can do all of it you can have the money you know what I'm saying you can have the new beginning you can have love you can have wealth <laughs> you can have that business you can have that boat you can have that nice ass car right you're realizing like oh I can manifest all of this 
And this is again, this is why you're deciding, you know what? I don't, I've been blocking myself in my happiness. So let's see what you over here expressing because this about to be funny, Gemini. What you talking about over here, Gemini? All right, Spirit, tell me what Gemini is talking about here with this self-expression in this world card. He is stepping out their gate. What is this reference in here, Spirit? Show me what I need to see. Mm -mm. So you've been listening to your intuition about following a certain process because you weren't doing it at first. You was rebelling against this process. You wasn't trying to do it, okay? You was like, mm -mm, that doesn't align with my values, <laughs> okay? I don't want to do that, all right? I, I'm not going to know, but now you're thinking. High Priestess Energy. You're, you're listening to your intuition about this journey, and you're deciding here that, you know what? I got to step outside my comfort zone and just go for it. Okay? Thank you. Show me what I need to see here. You're trusting yourself is what I'm definitely seeing. All right? You weren't working on something at first. You were totally neglecting this shit. Show me what they were neglecting here, Spirit. And now, whatever it is you were neglecting, you're running towards it. Okay, you definitely wasn't putting the energy into something here. You weren't focusing on it, whatever that may be. Now, Knight of Swords energy comes in, assertive, ready to get things done, ready, ready to work on their goals, regardless of what the challenges are. Okay, and then I have this Hermit card in reverse. Okay, so now you, you're deciding to run towards whatever you were trying to keep yourself from being engaged in. Because... At some point here, you had took and paused for something. Something here has caused you to just, you know, stop. You know, the hermit just goes in hermit mode and decides, you know, I'm not going to engage in this. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do some self-reflecting. I'm going to stay, you know, in my own little shell here. I ain't inviting nobody in this motherfucker. Just me. <laughs> okay. But now you're like, mm, that's lonely. Okay, I'm ready to start bringing people into this. I'm ready to expand here and invite people into my life, right? So you're returning to society for the most part, for whatever that may be, especially after you experience some type of hardship or loss. Okay, wow. Whatever this was, it was definitely a very unhappy situation. It didn't turn out the way you expected it. And I feel like you dwelled on it for a long time. This is why you weren't communicating is what Spirit is saying. Because you were you were definitely scattered in your thinking about what was happening here because it caused a lot of grief, a lot of disappointment. But now you are accepting, okay, what's happening. You're trying to move on, you're trying to heal from it. I got a magician in the re reverse and the two of cups in the reverse. Magician magician in the reverse is definitely some manipulative energy. Just put it that way. Alright, so it was something going on here that Mm, was bringing an imbalance between you and somebody else and i feel like it was some manipulation or some type of deception or illusion whatever that may be right with my two of cups right next to it so codependency of course most definitely but it was something here that was bringing an imbalance between you two what is ah i got a ten of pentacles okay ten of pentacles in the reverse is usually speaks on family type situations um couples you know lovers uh, whatever that may be it could be bankruptcy shit it could be you know you're going to debt with something here okay you may have had this idea here that you wanted some type of family um or relationship that could have been rooted in let's just see the money you want to say you reaching your ten of pentacles your money right your wealth um and it, and it really was more on a material standpoint but i do feel like you may want something now where it's emotional and it's material. It's not just one thing. Okay. I think you're starting to see now like, oh shit, I can combine the two. Okay. But whatever happened with that Ten of Pentacles is causing you to have some type of conflict because now you're you're not you're saying it's different. It's like, no, it's a it's a it's a better way. I don't have to do it this way any longer. Okay, and it's definitely you breaking some type of tradition that you may have been doing or or on. Okay, because I definitely feel like you were on a certain path and it was your path and you weren't really trying to read off that path to, to do something else to expand, right? But um, thank you. Show me what I need to see with this. It's, it's, some, it's someone here that in this reading, okay, whether it's you or your person who you may have a very close bond with. And this person is where... You may feel that there's some type of disruption. I don't want to say like chaos, but it just seems like it's something here that may have gotten between you two that has brought some 
um, disharmony between you two or some type of imbalance between you two, right? But what I'm seeing here with this masculine energy coming in with this Knight of Cups, it's almost as if someone is now coming in, stepping outside their gate now, maybe messaging more, um, inviting you out more, or you may be inviting someone out for the most part but that's that's also like romantic energy too so it could be like that playboy energy um but there's some type of disappointment here uh, when it comes to a certain situation that has brought an imbalance here with you and this person okay it's, it's something here that you may feel burdened by um an obligation whether you may have an obligation to a job um a family children with a person whatever that may be but what i'm saying here with the ten of swords and the reverse position you're now healing or you have learned your lesson from something okay and whatever that is it's like now you're trying to fix this relationship um or friendship or whatever that is that you have with this other person here because with this lovers in the reverse there's some disharmony again right you may have made a bad choice or they may have made a bad choice with you however it goes you flip the roses you see fit right but for the most part right yeah they had to set some type of boundary with you okay but look <laughs> All these cards is in the upright position. So what I'm saying here with my King of Pentacles next to my Nine of Pentacles, Three of, three of Wands, and my, my Queen of Swords, all upright position. Okay, King of Pentacles ready to offer something stable. Okay, ready to offer something serious. Right now at this point where you may be feeling extremely abundant. Okay, you may be feeling like, okay, I got my money together. I can now provide. I can now protect, you know, and I'm abundant. I can spend my money. I'm comfortable. I'm self-sufficient. You're getting confident. Now you're planning for the future. Now you can see like, oh, it's so much more <laughs> that I can do because now I have accomplished this. Definitely someone who's single. Someone's very who's very independent. You could have been very guarded at one point, but now it's like, hmm, I'm I'm actually satisfied. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually satisfied here, okay. And who out there just looking? It's like, hmm, I'm satisfied and I'm fucking confident now, okay. So you got the strong vision for your future here, especially when it comes to a queen of swords in an upright position, but. Whatever, look, and I feel like y'all matching energies here because both of y'all are independent as shit. But the thing is, is, is that you may have had to set some type of boundary here with this person or um, be very direct about something. Okay. And I'm also seeing here as well that, wow, you may have someone in your life that is uh, fucking toxic. Just put it that way. Right. They, they can be very bitchy, very cold-hearted. Um, and it's just like this dynamics of you got these two different energies here that are in your story. And it's like what's causing you a lot of disappointment for the most part. And you were definitely feeling unhappy because I think here what I'm seeing is like you may have wanted that situation to work. And it, it's just not turning out the way you expected it. But I'm also seeing on another dynamics is something here is is causing you a lot of a lot of happiness okay and, it, and it's involving your new beginning so let's just put it that way five of pentacles in the reverse position this is why you're making these changes okay so mm -hmm, look at this the sun in the upright position the sun was in a reverse at the very beginning of the reading now you up here like this so your life has changed. It's, it's changed. It's changing for the better. And now you're, you're becoming more optimistic about the fact that you're ready to expand and you can do that now. You're ready to grow now. You like, it, look, it's so much out here for me. And, and I really feel like you're starting to understand here that all of this is coming because of positivity, right? Because that's what's most attractive. And that's how the universe works. Got to be in a positive mindset. You got to feel good. You know what I'm saying? Got to be a vibrational match to this shit in order for you to manifest it. And this is what's happening. It's bringing you closer to your dreams. And now you're beginning to step outside of your gate and you're getting to your prosperity, right? It takes a lot of optimism to be able to do this. And you may have had some type of unrealistic expectation at one time, but... For the most part here, it looks like, you know, you're on it, okay? A lot of truth being revealed to you. And, of course, you're having a lot of memories on top of that, okay? And whatever you're thinking about here with the Six of Cups, it could be someone from the past that you may want to reconnect with or someone that you were dealing with at one time that you want to reconnect with. But what I'm saying is you're definitely healing from some stuff from this past, 
situation that you had going on, okay? That may have kept you restricted or, or clouded in some kind of way in your judgment. And this is why you weren't ready to face whatever you needed to face to step outside of this, this gate here into your most abundant life that's coming to you or that's happening to you right now. But what I'm saying is that you are listening to your intuition. And that was the first thing, that second card that came out with the high priestess. It's like, shit, your intuition is giving you all types of ideas. You may daydream about this. I mean, floating away like, hmm. But it's giving you this fresh new perspective here, and that's a good thing. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Definitely some dope energy, Gem Gemini, because you guys have been moving slow. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Y'all been going through some stuff, not really being able to make clear decisions, you know, just kind of clouded in your judgment over the last, what, few months I've been reading for y'all. And you're moving slow about something here, but you're still moving towards it. It's like one of these graceful movements. You're very patient. I um, mean, you're taking your time with this, but I feel like you are definitely committed to this over the long term. It's just one of these things. It's like, let me just take my time because I don't want to, you know, I want to do it efficiently. I don't want to risk something, right? But what you're doing is also trying to end some type of conflict that you have going on, whether it's internally or whether it's something going on around you. Okay, you're ready to call it a truce. So, but you're still moving kind of slow at ending the conflict, but you're doing it, right? Or at cooperating with something, but you're still trying to work in harmony with it. You're moving towards that. That's like your overall goal at the end of the day. Okay, yeah, you're ready to start giving here to someone. Thank you. Or something. Mm -hmm. And what I see here is definitely it was an uneven um, power dynamics or something here that was taking place where um, someone may have been just giving too much in this connection period. And this is why you had to pause for a moment. OK, y'all, y'all went on a complete vacation. It was just like, mm, yeah, I'm going to withdraw my energy from this shit because it's not serving me. Right. She sleep. <laughs> put a heart to the side at all like fuck love <laughs> let me take a break but in that recovery period because this is a third party situation whether it's a situation with another person or maybe just a situation period but what i'm saying you are no longer doing it no more it's like you're making these decisions to stop juggling Whatever this is, again, whether it's people or whether it's a job, whether it's money, love, whatever. You're making a decision to stop juggling it um, or you need to, okay? But what I'm seeing here is like, because it's causing a, a major imbalance. And somebody was definitely overextending themselves here. Thank you. Come on, I need to see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that you were definitely having a hard time making a decision for yourself here. Um, but when I look at these two cards, it's almost as if, you know, these scales are still balancing out. It's like you want these scales to balance out. You want to remove these blindfolds because you want to see something grow. You're ready to see whatever this is here that you invested into expand. It's like you were wearing a blindfold, but it was because you were giving up because you were you were you were encountering too many hardships. OK, you weren't winning. You may have felt like you weren't winning. But now it's like you're you're realizing here that it does require some work. Like you got to put in the effort. You have to nurture it in order for it to grow. Like, how can you expand or how can you be better or how could you, you know, go after what it is that you want without persistency? Right. Um, and this is what I'm saying. It's like, you like, yo, I'm about to miss a whole opportunity here or a whole chance here at something, something steady, right? Or abundance, whatever it may be, because I refuse to make a decision, you know, for my life. And I'm, and I'm not happy. I'm very unhappy. Look at this. Yeah? And because you made this decision, Gemini, uh, you may have came off very brutal with it. King of Swords in the reverse position. I mean, <laughs> very blunt, okay? It created a tower moment. Something ended. Something had to be, some type of um, boundary may have had to been set, 
okay but the only way that you could get it across is to be this straightforward about it but I do definitely see here that you were very um, disconnected or just doing a lot of contemplating here. But what happened is that clear as day in the middle is like the tower card. It's like boom. Whatever happened here, whether this is you, Gemini, or somebody in your life that came off like boop, manipulating or very um, conceited about their answer. Okay, it created some type of tower, but it was like shit, I'm clear. <laughs> you mad but i'm choosing happiness <laughs> oh well <laughs> what you gonna do oh well all right thank you what is gemini's feeling towards all of this thank you that's what i need to see gemini's feeling towards all of this <laughs> angel of love so what's happening here is that you got a strong bond or some type of connection here with someone in your life okay it's something here that's very intimate here where you guys experience some type of heartbreak or even this may be you this could be you like you know what i'm gonna direct this love to myself first i'm gonna put it back into myself because i know that's how i'm gonna attract love from others i'm going to you know merge with me you know some of you may be like fuck it it's about my own self-love and some of you are trying to um come together with someone else and make the connection deeper all right because it was a lot of heartbreak in this situation here or you may be just very broken hearted here um for the most part right but i'm i'm definitely saying um, reconciliation and i'm saying recovery yep community card in the reverse position Definitely something took place here involving a third party situation that broke your heart, Gemini. Okay? Or you may have broke somebody's heart with a third party situation. It was all because you were blocking your intuition here and you didn't know. You weren't hearing what the downloads were. And because of that, right? You were making poor decisions or not making any decisions because you were just in a state of confusion. And on top of that, again, the sun card in the reverse blocked in your happiness unrealistic expectations um not really seeing here that you is more out there you can expand look and even defensive as shit hostility you and your person here was just very aggressive somebody in your story is just aggressive as shit because of what this contract card in the reverse the endings wow Because some type of partnership or contract fell through or is not working. And that you were very dissatisfied about this or, or this person is very dissatisfied about the fact that you guys had to end this situation or you didn't get it. You didn't get the contract. Something with a legal matter didn't work in your favor or you may feel like it may not or vice versa, right? Wow. Thank you. Yeah, but now you're on path. Wow. Temple path card. Now you're deciding to follow this, per your purpose, your journey. You're deciding here that, hey, there's more. There's more to it. There's more to life than what's inside of this safe place that I keep myself in. This garden in the gate is more to life than that. I'm ready to come outside and play. <laughs> I'm ready to, you know, merge my, my, my talents and my gifts and everything I've been focusing on over here in my hermit mode <laughs> with the world here or with someone. Thank you. It's so much to celebrate right now. Okay, it's so much peace and prosperity that's coming to you now because you decided to step outside of that freaking gate here and to go after your happiness. Okay, some of you are definitely um, going to have like a, a baby I'm seeing. I'm also seeing marriage engagements. I'm seeing a lot to do with, you know, you involved, being involved with the community, networking. Um, this is a lot. You, you need to start thinking of divine or the universe now for all of this, honey, because what's coming to you is peace and contentment in your personal life. Just put it that way, okay? Somebody has felt fallen in love with someone here. Um, definitely seeing that. Hmm. Someone who you may have had an imbalance in a relationship with, which definitely is coming in as this, whoever this person is you're wanting to reconnect with. Okay, but for the most part here, they're coming. 
let's just put it that way they're coming or you're going towards somebody here with enthusiasm like you're optimistic about this shit <laughs> really optimistic okay spirit is like do the things that fuel your passion all right finish what you started okay because something is getting ready to go to the next step so you're thinking of taking something here to the next step so you're going to be very bold and ambitious about this choice but you're ready to start to partner with um this person here who you share your dreams with you're expanding your plans and this is what it's about now you're like i got it i'm ready to move forward and this is what you're doing. You're continuing to move forward with the world in your hand. Talking about, motherfucker, the world is my oyster. Are you coming with me? Hmm? You coming with me, baby? Because we, we is on our way. Taking sight, right? So what's out there? The opportunities. It's like so much insight that's coming to you right now. And it's because if someone is really taking their time to go within to do the self-reflecting or even meditating. And if you're not, meditate. Do the self-reflecting. Okay? Because like I said, Spirit is saying, sending downloads to you. But... Allow yourself this time, right, to really tap in. Some of you need to take a break. Some of you need some rest. Some of you need to take a vacation, okay? Because it could be some mental exhaustion or you just need to get some more goddamn sleep. All right, so that you can get these downloads that are coming to you about what to do and how to expand even further within this idea that you have here in your mind. All right, but what I'm saying again is a renewal, renewal card. Definitely, some of y'all are are reconnecting with someone here who you had a connection with, someone you have a very strong bond with. Um, you guys are coming back together. And what I'm seeing here is that you have to really just take some time to review your past with compassion, okay, and forgiveness. Because you're heading into a whole new direction now. It's like you're clear about your purpose, okay, and what you want, especially for your life here. In your heart, you know what to do. And Spirit is saying, follow that. Protect that be prepared and never give up right and if you need help ask your angelic team to assist you with this because it's going to be some people that's going to be throwing some wands at your ass whether that's magic or whether that's hate whether that's um evil eye projections whatever that may be it's going to be some people that's mad as shit at you or this person wow but it's all good for the same because <laughs> Spirit is involved. The universe is involved. Your angelic team, your ancestors are involved. You good. Okay. They can throw ones all they want. It's just going to bounce off of you. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Yep. Some of you, this is about loving yourself first. You have to make yourself respect um, priority here. Because that's what makes you more romantically attractive. And that's what you've been doing. You've been choosing you. Getting into you, working out more, eating healthy, you know, making life changes. This person here that you want to go back after is um, a past life relationship. So that's soulmate energy here. And it's true love on top of that. So you can see it. Did I show you this one? Love yourself first, Gemini. Always, right? This is the romance of a lifetime, honey. Hello? You're going to have to let people help you and support you, Okay. Especially during this transition because it seems like you have a lot going on. You can even ask angelic assistance. Okay. And as you continue to work on these codependencies, whatever these addictions are that affect you from being able to have these type of relationships, <laughs> still work on those codependencies because they will affect your romantic life. And you don't want that to interfere here. But for the most part, make the effort because great love is what work it worth taking the steps you were guided to take. Okay. What you got here is definitely true love. Thank you. Let go of your control issues and just have fun. You play. Get into a lighthearted energy here. And stop trying to control the situation and allow it to unfold naturally. Follow your heart. Whatever your heart is feeling, then just do it. You know. But remember to recapture romance by having fun. Allow your inner youthfulness to shine. Be playful, be lighthearted with this person, okay? Because you may have been doing some self-sabotaging or sabotaging this situation here just because of the, what? Codependencies. But now I'm seeing here that you're trying to rebuild this situation and you're ready to date this person. Whoa. You're ready to get back out there. Thank you. <laughs> Gemini. <laughs> Tell me what I need to see. Oh, some of y'all got a person attached to y'all that's a snake. I've seen that card. They tried to jump out. 
that snake is karmic energy. It's a female karmic energy that's attached to you. That is a snake here. It's first saying they're karmic. That relationship is over. Whoa. Spirit is telling you there's no second chances with that. You're supposed to grow and transform from that. Whether it's a, it, that's a, a girl holding a snake. So this got to be for a masculine. If you're viewing in or if you're feminine, it's your person's karmic. Okay. And what I'm saying here is, yeah, they may have stabbed you in the back for this person. And this is where the heartbreak is coming in and that pain. But for the most part, mm -mm. it was a lot of deception. That shocked the shit out of you. It came out of nowhere. You wasn't even expecting it. It was like a sneak attack here. Like, what the? And it broke your heart. Some of you are definitely like, nah, I'm not going back. That's the end of that situation because this person stabbed me in my, my back for that other person, this third party situation. But Spirit is saying, regardless, still grow and transform from this. Um, this is a soul connection. You guys have a soul contract with each other an agreement here. Thank you. That unfortunately before we came to this earth here, earthly realm, that we decided, yeah, we gonna fulfill this contract and we gonna remember what it is and we gonna get it right this time. <laughs> and you like, fuck that, not this lifetime. <laughs> I ain't gonna remember, maybe next, <laughs> right? But it's about you making a healthy choice is what Spirit is saying, okay? Make a healthy choice in love and in life, period. Make self-love and self-care your priority because it's about you being happy, Gemini. Don't run. Stop being a runner. That's codependent energy. Face your fears, whatever they may be, and don't listen to your ego. Okay, somebody likes you. Somebody definitely is feeling you, honey. It, this romance is getting ready to bloom out of control. So just flirt, have fun. They want to date. You want to date somebody who, however this shit go, you ready to just get back out there and, and explore love. You're ready to expand in love. You're no longer playing it safe here. Thank you. You feeling confident as shit about yourself right now, Gemini. Let me find out. Some of y'all is definitely getting your money together. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Anything else? That's it. Some of y'all getting y'all money together and y'all just like, yeah. Where my boo at? Thank you. Show me what I need to see. This is divine timing. Ah! The timing is now. It's happening now. Finally. You know how long we've been saying what Spirit said. It's about divine timing. <laughs> and you like, when the hell is divine timing? It's now. It's like, you know that. It's now. As it stands, the energy is now. I'm trying to see if there's any other, other cards I want to put for y'all before I let, let you go here. So what I'm looking for, so I had put up my cards to clean up a little bit because my mama came to town. Yep, y'all been listening to y'all intuition. So that's good. Continue to do that is what I'm hearing here. Because you're getting massive downloads. It's not just